Welcome! Today we're going to talk about the Sea Diver Submilius from WMT Watches. Now for the unboxing. Uh, really nice packaging on the Sea Diver here, WMT. I love a good packaging setup. Very cool, like kind of old school 1940s throwback design. We've got the warranty card for the Sea Diver here. Instructions on how to set the time. And here's very nice packaging on the inside here. It comes with a spring bar tool, extra spring bars and a cool kind of vial here, and then the watch, of course. So we're going to jump right in here with the Submilius. Um, it's a really great vintage style design based off the Rolex Milgauss from the 1950s. Um, has a nice double domed acrylic crystal, uh, a really nice crown on it as well. Um, the bezel has got a little bit of a click to it. Uh, on, on the particular example I have, um, but it's actually, it's probably more of a friction fit and sometimes I get a click, but either way, it's still pretty great. Um, the uh, bezel insert has a matte finish, which I think goes quite nicely with. Um, the hands have a kind of an aged appearance to them, which is really nice. Um, great case, it's got a its own chamfer here see that. The bracelet, I was really blown away. I really like the bracelet on this riveted style. It even has some uh, links that are removable here in case you uh, have smaller wrist. Um, for me, I have a, a six and a quarter inch wrist and um, still have room to go here if I needed to go tighter. So I thought it was really nice. A really great kind of, um, you know, clasp the design here very you know similar to Rolexes of the period now the the sea diver submilius uh, which is uh, made by WMT here um, is really an homage watch to the Rolex Milgauss model 6541 from the night in the the mid 1950s um, which is an amazing watch um, and uh, earlier versions didn't have a honeycomb dial, but then in the 1950s they started using a honeycomb dial, which this one definitely, um, you know, uh, it, it reproduces. Uh, it, it's an amazing watch. I, I, I was just really blown away. I'd been admiring WMT for a while um, from afar, and then a couple of weeks ago I got my hands on uh, a friend's um, and really kind of piqued my interest, and then when this one became available from another friend, um, I you know, immediately snapped it up and definitely no regrets. So, let's put it on here. Sorry, Contiki, got to take you off for a second. Um, now I measured this at about 37 um, and a half, um, but on their website they quote it at 38 millimeters um, really great wrist presence um, nice tall I mean plexi not too tall just right uh, really a pleasure to wear on the wrist and just yeah very old overall very pleased here let's take a look at the case back here and you can see there the clasp I love how they did paid attention to details on the clasp and you know put their information here, um, just like the the old ones. And here's the case back, a little hard to see, but it's got the one thirty nine ten, which I believe is my serial number. Then a nice, really robust feeling uh, case back there. Um, You can get a, you can see a profile shot here of the case. If you want to compare it to uh, Tudor 7016, you can see here on the Tudor on the, on the top here. The profile of the case is similar, but I would say the WMT is a little bit more curved. 
whereas the 7016 uh, Tudor Submariner's case is a little bit, a little bit flatter, if you will. But overall dimensions are uh, pretty similar. Maybe this one's a little bit taller because of the plexi. You can compare there, you know, kind of you know, lug to lug here. Very, very similar. All right. Well, there you have it. The Submilius Sea Diver from WMT. Really great homage piece.